We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, I think you're on a cell with your phone. this world was being watched closely by intelligences well, greater than man. Windows. As human beings busied themselves yes, about their various concerns, with infinite complacency was scrutinized and Just studied the as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the trancing creatures that multiply in a drop of water. I don't need any phone calls, and I have no recourse. There's no legal recourse. With residents on Red Alert, whole neighborhood never learn. Let them spread the word. Constellation Panasonic's come with free home installation, courtesy of Alex Carbon. Pardon? $7.99 bargain. Skippy simply armed with Cody cordless forest in his city. Fed telecommittee, hardly postmark packaging. Three words, Walmart, barcodes, batteries. All store page insanity. Attention buyers, Z25, don't shop Red Meyer. Don't cut that wire, don't touch that dial. Once upon a time, Carter logged on Safeway's clients. So what pranks transpired? Cue a butterfly effect and result, feds ruined Dink Temper. What a mess. Operator, collect call, do you accept? From Chili Pepper Correctional, centered in New Mexico. Let's go, head home, they'll never know. Degenerates treasure trove stowed. 7-Eleven shoplift professionals. Psych, guess who booked a later flight? Should've looked for better rides. Took a wake to a surprise. Some foot over state lines, other firmly on the pulse. Brad had yet to set rules, whatever learning that involved. Now we're learning every newer member, sending him requests. Go fill the PL application out over the web. Oakview Apartments, you again? The tenant who yep. ripped plastic lining right inside your kitchen swimming pool? Dripping through trap doors, Cold Wars command missiles? What about all these other issues? Sinks a fishbowl, toilets filled with fistfuls of fish food. Will it flush you? I don't think so. Prove it quick, though. Still no. Whirlpool, dirt floor, walls imbued with mildew. Ugh. Intruding through window sills, slipping, flipping switches. Reservoirs dripping with residues, living room sinkholes. I meant to message you today. Airbnb subletters, renters, rents been due for two days. Ma'am, it's apartment 7-2D. Bed bugs, rescues, snow melt, roof leaks, wet carpets, stumens in darkness. It's, it's true weed, weekly, bloomy, blue weed routine. Electricity shooting from antenna tips, illuminating space stations, lieutenant penalty waves. Overhead pelican microwaves, melting M&Ms, getting at their goats, forming like the corpse and metal pens. Isolated isotopes, lasers aiming for their heads. PLA has taken hold, trolling Tradio instead. Patrolling every HOA directory directly from the source, till crystals in the toaster run their course. Incandescent reports, selling LEDs, slamming go cups on floors, cacti cam feeds. And DEFCON drive throughs Victor chasing me, Warren. He flipped a bet. I dished my methamphetamine. Felonies, harassment, exorbitant problems. Steve, Dave, enormous prick. Corporate office. Hey, when the boss is gone, let's go sit off Blanca Law. Don't look my way, Sensei. Carol's in charge. Send regards to prank call call centers. Honey, baby. Send regards to diversion services. Hot tempered host who's terrible. Download hobo sods. Phone losers of America. The Snowplow Show. The sort of exploit that might possibly reach the front page of the newspaper. What the hell? That new song was amazing. That was by somebody who calls himself Wanna Know My Name. And you can actually get that on Bandcamp. I'm going to put a link in the show notes. I've already purchased a copy myself. I think everybody needs to do that. Why aren't you doing that right now? Really, what the hell? I don't deserve all of these show songs that you guys always make me. I don't understand why everyone's so nice to me. It's kind of weirding me out, to be honest. Anyway, hi, everybody. You're listening to The Snowplow Show. It's March 11th, 2021. And there are sponsors of this show, like High School Graduate, Matt S., The Stunning Kruger Effect, Denmark is a Real Country, and Carbo B., 
They all support the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers, and you should too. Those people should get an extra show this week. It hasn't happened yet, but maybe tomorrow or Saturday. As soon as you're finished buying that track from Wanna Know My Name on Bandcamp, you need to go over to the Kickstarter and support the vinyl album, which is not my vinyl album. People keep getting confused about this. I've tried to make it very clear this is Vista Blue's vinyl album. He's one of the many artists contributing amazing things to the art gallery known as the Snowplow Show. The show is basically just a museum of everybody's stuff that they send in to the show. All the ideas and the show art and the songs and the background music that I'm playing right now. It was created by a listener too. Thanks everybody. I'm feeling really appreciative of everyone right now. I mean, holy shit. We have this Kickstarter. It's up to $1,800 right now. Not my money. That's Vista Blues money. And he's going to be blowing most of it on the vinyl record. He says each time the price goes up, he just makes things a little bit better. I think he told me in an email he's going to get better inserts because of where the Kickstarter's at. That was back at 1600 I think. So keep supporting the Kickstarter. It's got two weeks left. It's a very cheap vinyl record, only 10 bucks. But there are other levels. Oh yeah, he sent out an update. There's going to be a CD version of it now. He wasn't going to do that until it got to a certain level, and it did. So thank you, everyone, for making Vista Blue do more and more work. I was going to do a show yesterday, but then I decided to go to the PLA subreddit and saw somebody complaining that the Snowplow Show archives were down. And they were mostly because the Seedbox service that I use, that's where most of those episodes link to. And I don't know why, but last week they decided to move my server somewhere else which changed my IP address and broke all the links. I really didn't think people used the archive that much, but people started complaining immediately, which is good. I'm glad people were complaining because it made me fix things. In fact, I think I spent about six hours yesterday updating the archive and I added a couple of years to it. It's only gone up to 2017 for the past few years now, and now it goes all the way up to 2019. I didn't have it in me last night to put 2020 in there, but maybe I'll put that in there in a couple more years or something. So thanks, everybody, for complaining at me and making me fix the things. If you want to hear old episodes of the Snowplow Show, you can listen to them by year, starting with 2012. That's at snowplowshow.com slash archive. Go there and just download every single episode. Keep them forever. I could die tomorrow. My website will disappear. You don't want that. Go get all the episodes. But if you want all the episodes, get them from the torrent. You know there's a torrent, right? Can't you read? Can't you see? This is private property. Aren't the signs plain and clear? No one is allowed in here. But since you're here, you should know. We will never let you go. You can cry, you can shout, but you can't get out. This is the Homeowners Association. No return. The Homeowners Association. Some no return. Those who stumble in, those who fumble in, never can get out. We have come seeking sheep. Now a master into deep. We don't mean any harm. You have caused us great alarm. Then we'll be off. On our way. Sorry, but you have to stay. We will cry, we will shout, till you can't get out. This is a homeowners association of no return. This is the homeowners association of no return. You have stumbled in, you have fumbled in. Now you can't get out. Hello. Hey, Deborah. Yes, who is this? Uh, it's your neighbor. It's Bob. Hey, uh, there's going to be some people there today to install a satellite dish. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know they'd be out here so quick, but they're going to be putting that on your roof. Why? Uh, well, it's for my internet. It's a Starlink satellite dish. It's like a new service. Well, why They've would got... you be putting it on my roof? Well, because I live at 95 Drive, but I'm in a, apartment B, you know, like underneath. Where do you live? Under, I, mean, I, I don't. Underneath. Do I know you? Oh no, I don't think I've ever met you before. I don't come up a whole lot. Uh, my name's Bob Dobelina. I, I live. Uh, you know, there's an intricate network of tunnels underneath the neighborhood, and I, I live underneath your house currently. You know what? I, I think you got the wrong person. Oh no, no. It's like on, on 95 Drive. That's my address too. Mine's 89. 89 Drive. Yes. 
Oh, maybe I'm confused about. Is this not Marsha, though? My name is Marsha, yes. Okay, yeah, that's who I'm calling. They're coming there to install the satellite dish. Oh, man, I hope they got the right house. I tend to doubt it. Well, uh, you know, why would they put it, be putting a satellite dish on my roof for you, where, which is 80, where, where are you, 95? Where did you say you were? Yeah, but they, they no, 95 is, is mostly where I live. Uh, look, the cave network, it, it extends throughout the entire underground neighborhood. And uh, I, I occupy the caves but on drive. You op- occupy a cave on drive? Yeah, yeah, I'm a mole man. What's a cave? You, huh? I'm a mole man. Have you ever heard of a mole man before? No, I haven't. Is okay. this a joke? No, I wouldn't joke about this. I'm, I'm just saying uh, there's going to be a satellite dish on your house. You don't have to pay for it. It's just going to be there. It's a little one. Why would I have it on my house? Why don't you have it on your house? I don't have a house. I live underneath your house. You live underneath my house? Yes. I, I've been down here for years. And, oh, you really have? Yeah, okay. And, well, you know you know what? You should come up someday and introduce yourself. No, thank you, because you sound very aggressive. And I've been on dial I'm, I'm not aggressive. You sound I, nuts I've been, that you live underneath my house. There's nobody that lives underneath here. You have to understand. Well, you wouldn't know, because you're not down here. I am. I, I live down here. Oh. Live, but look, I've been on dial-up for years. That's the only thing I can get down here, and this is going to change... Everything. I just want to get. You know what? This new come Starlink. on, come off of this shit. What do you? What do you want? I, why are you calling me? I'm just letting you know why the the servicemen are going to be there to the contract. Well, I don't want it. I don't want it on my roof. It's a little. So gonna, go find somebody else's roof. It's going to be on the backside. It's got a point north. It's got a point north. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, so, yeah. Guess what? Guess what? What? What is your name? Bob Dobelina. Bob what? Dobelina. Bob Bobolina. Oh, wow. You sound very interesting, Bob Bobolina. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to be interesting. I'm just trying to let you know of this little issue. They're, they're just going to be there to install a satellite dish. Well, I'm going to tell them not to. Oh, no. They, they have explicit instructions for me. Well, already... they, they can't put a something on my roof if I don't want it. I've already paid them, ma'am. So it's fi- What? It, I've already paid them, and it's not going to hurt anything. It's just going to kind of be there. I don't want it. Are, are you wanting to, like... Are, are you want me to give you some of my satellite internet? Is that what this is about? I don't want your internet. I don't want anything from you. You are a, a kookaboo, so I'm going to hang up on you right now, but there better not be any satellite dish I'm, on my roof. Ma'am, I'm not a kookaboo. You take that back. I'll take it back. No, I don't want to take it back. Because that's mean. You shouldn't go around <laughs> calling your neighbors kookaboos. Yeah, well, you're not my neighbor. I don't. You live underneath my house. You're a mole. You told me. I'm a mole man. That's a thing. Look it up on the internet on your fast oh, internet. I'm going to look have. it up on the. I'm going to look it up on the internet that you're a mole man that lives underneath my house. I'm saying look up mole men in general. There, it's like a whole thing. There's there's a community of us across the country. It's a real thing. Oh, really, mole men? Okay. It, 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 you, don't you have must to be, think I'm an idiot. <laughs> you, you don't have to be jealous. I, I, I've been down here for years. I'm not you trying to get me. anything from you. I just, I need internet. Hello? Hi. Okay, you're not, you didn't hang up yet. No, okay. of course not. I was talking. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right. W- w- what is your name again? Bob Dobelina. Bob Dobelina. Yeah. You're very uh, creative. Okay. Um, Thank you. Okay, not Bob really. Dobelina. I just, uh, go back under the house and I just dig stay tunnels. there. It's not that creative. Oh, there's tunnels underneath here. Right? Yeah, yeah. Tunnels and yeah. Some, some caves. Mm-hmm. I've actually discovered caves okay. while digging. Caves. You have caves underneath like here. Existing cave. Yes, there's a whole network of tunnels underneath your why neighborhood. Why are you call? Why are, don't you have anything better to do? I'm than calling. Bullshit, than, no, I'm not bullshitting, ma'am. I'm, I'm calling to let you know that I'm. There's going to be a satellite on your house. It's just a little one. It looks like a pizza box. It looks like a pizza box. Okay. That's what Elon says. I think that's a stupid comparison. Who's Elon? Elon Musk. He's the inventor oh, of Starlink. Oh, Elon Musk. Okay. Listen. Listen, Bob, Bobalina. I don't have any more time for this shit, so I'll t- see you later, okay? All Bye. Right. I love you. What the fuck did she call me? I forget that word already. Hold on. I got to rewind. You are a, a kookaboo. She called me a kookaboo. What the fuck is a kookaboo? Is that like an old lady racist word or something? Am I going to get banned from YouTube? Please don't report me, everybody. I didn't know. It's ignorance. That's all it is. I don't know what the fuck a kookaboo is.
In fact, that reminds me of a song that Matt Hillock used to always reference, and I'm gonna play a tiny bit of it right now. Oh look, here's one that has Matt's name on it. Hey Matthew, it's your birthday. I'm in charge of the stars and I'm here to say- All right, let me fast forward so I don't get a strike. I'm pretty sure that word is in this song. So let me skip ahead a little bit. Hey Matthew, you're the big star today. That's right, Matthew. Present for you, I wanted to find an outer space creature, a one of a kind, a wild wawa or a kookle chew. Oh, a kookle chew, not a kookaboo, it's a kookle chew. Did you ask, what's a kookle chew? Well, up on the moon, it's nothing new. I assume this song is from before the days that we'd been to the moon and we just thought it was full of kookle chews and wigwams and snozz wangers. Anyway, today I am calling up people and saying I live under their house and I'm installing a Starlink satellite dish so I can get internet down here. But listeners have been making me kind of miss the whole underground cave thing. They've been asking about it on Reddit. And when I was going through those 2018 archives for hours yesterday, I was seeing all these references to underground calls. So I thought I'd finish up this list that I've been calling from for a while now. I'm not calling them from a real phone number anymore because a lot of them have been warned. This is a homeowners association list that Mr. Banana sent to me last year, I think. Oh, and I completely messed that one up. I called up one lady and I, I gave the wrong address. She lived a few houses down. That was the whole confusion between 89 and 95. So oops, I messed that up. Let's call up the people that actually live at 95 this time and see if they're home. I remember doing this before with the electric company, telling people I lived underneath their house and they're gonna put another power meter on the side of their house. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that. I can say a new, a new law passed. Hello? Oh, hi, uh, Deborah. No, this isn't Deborah. Do you want Deborah? Oh, yes, please. This this is Bob, their neighbor. Bob. Oh, okay. Bob, the neighbor. Hello? Hey, Deborah, it's Bob Doblina. Okay. Should I know you? Uh, I don't. Probably not. I don't know if we've met. I, I just needed to let you know that um, the electric company is going to come over and and put a second power meter on the side of your house, or on the back of your house, wherever it is. You're just going to okay. have two power meters. One of them's going to be for me. One one's going to be for you. Yes, I, I live underneath your house. I don't know if they've told you about that. I'm a mole man. I think you have the wrong. I. Are you talking about road? Oh no, 95 drive. You live underneath of my house? Yeah. How did you do that? Well, you gave me a different address. I live at 95 drive. Did I get the wrong number? I, I live at 95 drive. Oh yeah. No, I live in apartment B, 95 drive, apartment B. You know, no, I'm not in an apartment. No, you, you don't, don't live. Ma'am, you have the wrong number. Ma'am, there's there is an intricate network of tunnels underneath your neighborhood. I, I live in the space underneath your house, directly below you. That's impossible. No, no, it's not. I'm I've I've got a landline down here. I've got telephone service, but I, I don't have electric yet, and they're gonna install that. They passed some new no, laws. They're not gonna install it on my property. Well, well, this is my property. Well, I, I know it's your property. No, you don't live here. But I, I live down he here. He he lives underneath of me. Yeah, I, I just, I've been down here for years. I've just been running on kerosene heaters and, you know. Can't... You, that's impossible. We're on a cement slab. <sighs> and that's where the call ended. Nothing else happened after that. She just hung up in confusion. It totally didn't go on for another five minutes with me talking to her husband and all kinds of crazy shit happening. Nope, that didn't happen. My Adobe Audition didn't crash and, and lose half of the recording. That's crazy talk. Where'd you get that idea from? Okay, that really happened just now. Since that call happened, I've been, you know, for the past 20 minutes rebooting computers and reloading the lists and the maps and everything else. That was a good call that only I got to hear. Just me and those old people. Me and them have a, a shared memory that nobody else will ever have. And you know what? I think I'm just going to have to stop pirating Adobe Audition. The only reason I've been holding out and I'm still continuing to pirate it is because they won't sell it to me. 
It's a subscription model now, so I have to pay $21 a month forever to use it. In fact, I think that's just the first year price. I think after that it goes up maybe. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I was just looking at a bunch of pricing stuff while I was waiting for stuff to load. But damn it, everybody. I was hoping it'd be saved in like a, a cache file or something somewhere on the hard drive. I looked where the cache files are for Adobe Audition and there was nothing. I checked my asterisk system. I was hoping that it recorded it for me, but nope, I had that disabled. Probably because I think I only have a 500 gig hard drive on the Asterix machine and that would just fill up the hard drive eventually and cause other problems. I don't know what to do, everyone. I have this fancy new mixer that I got um, last year. It's a Zoom L12 and it actually has a recorder built into the mixer itself. But for that whole five minutes I was talking, I didn't think to push the button because I never use the built-in mixing because those files are huge and they're on this little SD card that's hard to get to in the back of the machine. What a mess! I really hate Adobe right now. I've tried like every audio editing program there is out there, I think, at this point. I was going through a lot of those last year trying to find something I liked. I doubt any of you could suggest anything that I haven't tried yet or I would ask. I mean, the other things work and everything. I've tried Audacity and I used to always use a super old version of Adobe Audition. It was uh, version three, but that's hard to go back to because everything it does is so slow, but maybe that's better. It didn't crash all the time. Well, it crashed a little bit. It was also pirated back in the PLA radio days when I first got that program. Ah, what the heck? I paid for everything else. I'm paying for my video editing. I'm paying for my uh, sound mixing software. Forget prank calls for the rest of this show. I'm just going to sit here and complain. I paid for Mixcraft. That's what I used to put the shows together. And from what I remember, that was a very reasonable $130 or something like that. Adobe wants $21 a month for the rest of my life. I can't just pay them $300 and own it for a few years. Okay, I think I've got most everything loaded up again. Got my list loaded up. I'm crossing out those people I just talked to. Let's get started on all this again, but just keep in mind that I'm very angry right now. I'm not having fun, but I'm sure a couple of phone calls will cure that, hopefully. Let's find out. Hello? Listen here, Jeannie. I'm very upset. How are you? I'm, I'm very upset with Adobe right now. With what? Adobe. You know, the, the computer software company? Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, uh, it's your neighbor, Bob. Yeah, hi, Bob. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm going to, um, the, the, you know, Starlink satellite, they're going to be coming out and putting a dish on your roof uh, for me, but you don't have to pay for it. It's all mine. It's You just don't have to worry about it. Just ignore that it's there, okay? Wait, say this again. They're putting a, a, a dish, a, like a satellite dish? Yeah, yeah, a satellite dish for internet. It's called Starlink Satellite. It's like the latest internet company, and uh, I'm going to be getting it, but they're going to put it on your roof because it has to Why be not up. your roof. Well, I don't have a roof. I live underneath your house, like directly below it, underneath the ground, below the. <laughs> what are you laughing for? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh no, I'm completely serious. There, there's an intricate yeah. network of caves and tunnels below the, below the yeah. whole subdivision. Oh, I bet. I and, bet. <laughs> yeah, I can't get Comcast down here, so they're gonna hook me up with Starlink. So, so that's a right. that's a hard no on believing me, I guess. Uh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> ah, shoot. Do you think is Rich there? Can I convince him he of this? He is here. Can, yeah. Well, is he well, there in the room? Yeah, he's here. Well, no, yeah. he, he's gonna know that I'm full of shit because you just laughed at me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Shall I put him on the phone? Uh, sure. But don't okay, tell him. On. Don't tell him what I said. No, no. Okay. We, let's make him mad. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, how hey, you doing, Bob? Hey, hey, it's, uh, well, she said Bob and Kathy. I'm not married. Uh, I live underneath your house, uh, kind of below the earth in the underground tunnels. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're, they're going to be putting a satellite dish on your roof so I can get internet down here. I'm not sure I, I'm following what you're saying. Oh, the, uh, I live in, in an underground tunnel. I'm a, basically a mole man. Have you ever heard of a mole man, you know, like on TV or the internet? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, I dig tunnels. There's a lot of tunnels underneath your subdivision. I live down here. Uh, they have to put the satellite on your roof since I don't have a roof. So what? what, what is, 
Yeah, what, so what, what is, we're in the middle of eating, so what, uh, I'm not sure I follow what you're asking. Oh, well, I'm not asking anything. I'm just letting you know the people are going to be there tomorrow to install the Starlink satellite dish. Well, I'm, I'm not sure that will work, so... Uh, oh, it'll work. No, I, we've got a conduit half the way up the earth right now, uh, you know, up from, hey, Bob, from my place to yours. I, I, yeah, I, we're, 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 we're eating. What are you eating? So, what kind of food? Uh... Pretty good, actually. So I'm yeah, going to hang up right now. What is it? I didn't ask if it was good. Talk to you later. What is it? Damn it! I bet you Genie was like, you know, signaling him, mouthing the words, "Don't believe him. He's a crazy guy." And that's great that he mentioned Bob and Kathy. I saw their name somewhere else on this list. I think I tried to call them earlier. So things seem to be working okay with Adobe Audition. I was able to pause the recording and save it, and it actually saved. That's the other thing. It wouldn't save before, and it does that a lot these days. It absolutely will not save my file, so I have to create a secondary file and save to that one. So I'll have like seven files that say stuff like, Today's pranks, save one. Today's pranks, save two. Today's pranks, save three. It really sucks. I shouldn't have to deal with that. What the hell? It's 2021. Why can't my pirated software just work? I mean, this is the 2017 version of Adobe Audition. I guess if I pay for it, I will have the 2021 version. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do that. It sucks, but whatever. It's a business expense. I've been putting this off forever. I hate monthly charges. I just want to buy it. I even looked on eBay for like old copies, you know, from like 2015 maybe. Nobody seems to be selling software on eBay for some reason, like in a box. Hello? Hi, Erwin. That's me. Hey, it's Bob. It's your neighbor. Hi, Bob. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, uh, I'm going to be getting internet down here. You know, I live like directly below your house, right? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, they're going to be putting a satellite on your roof. Uh, probably tomorrow. They said they'd be there tomorrow to install it before 5 p.m. So you on my roof? Yeah, so you don't have to do anything. It's all paid for and everything. They're just putting it up there. You can just ignore it. But why, why does it go on my roof? Well, I live directly below you. You know, down underneath the ground. Like, I'm also at 39 Drive, but I'm in the Unit B. Oh, oh, listen. I moved. Oh, you and don't... It's very gracious of you to call me. Oh, okay. Um... The, the new people, and I do know who you are now. I was confused. Oh. I thought it was a, I, my new residence, and I wasn't understanding. I see. Um, do we have the new people's phone number? And do we know their name? Mm, I have to <laughs> rack my brain. Kind of. But it, that's okay, right? Like, I mean, they, they're not going to mind. Like, can you just tell them you did it? You, you put that satellite up there? I, I don't have any interaction with them is uh, oh. what I'm sharing. With you. Oh, I see. So, I mean, they weren't friends or, or anything. And I, I don't have any uh, way to reach them. Huh. If I, you know, if I, if I were you, I would just leave them a note. Okay, I'll do that. Um, but, but very gracious of you to call, and thank you. Oh, and I yeah, no, no problem at all. Can, can I just uh, quickly apologize to you? Because... You know, for all those years, I, I just tapped into your electric, and I was just living off of your electric bill. Not a and, problem. My electric bill was very reasonable. Oh, yeah. I don't use a lot of power down here underneath your old house. I just, you know, mostly just have a fan going and a couple lights. Okay. What's the address that you're talking about? Um, 39 Drive. That's my address. Okay. But I, I live, Very you know, I, I live directly below the house, you know, underneath the earth, under the ground. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Have a good night. What? What do you mean, very good? What's that mean? That was a little condescending. Not. Not at all. Okay. All right. Not at all. I'm just making sure. I don't want to. Like people always call me crazy and stuff. I just. Just, well, we've I'd, all been called something. <laughs> that's you know, true. I would yeah. worry about it. Yeah. No, but thank you very much for the call. I okay. appreciate thank it. Thank you for uh, being so accepting of us, Molman. Of course. No problem at all. All right. I love, be well. I love you. You be well. Stay safe. Bye-bye. No. That guy must be a fan of the movie Demolition Man, telling me to be well and stuff. Probably put his hand up while he said it. I bet you he does those no-contact high-fives with his wife and stuff. Just like Rob Schneider.
All right. So I don't know if he believed me or if he just thought I was crazy and he was just trying to let me down easy. He didn't want any trouble. But probably he just thought I was full of shit or I was trying to scam him or something. Hello? Hey, Murray. Yes? It's it's Bob, your neighbor? Yeah. How you doing? Hey, pretty good. Um, They're going to be putting a satellite dish on your house tomorrow for me. I, I'm just what? Letting, I'm just letting you know so you know what's going on when... When you see someone out there with the ladder, they're they're just putting a satellite dish up there for for your neighbor Bob Doblina. Whoa! I, what uh, what uh, what number are you? What? Oh, well, I'm I'm at one hundred seven Drive, the same as you. You can't be. No, I, I live underneath your house, like under the ground. There's a room down here underneath the ground. Bye. What? What do you mean by? Why are you saying by? I need my satellite dish, Murray. So that last call I made to uh, Francis, I don't know how long that was, but I'm looking on my FTP machine. It looks like all of my calls are auto-recording with asterisks now, at least on this line. i got to set it up for the rest of the lines. But that call that I made before is three megs, which isn't too bad. It sounds like it's maybe a meg per minute, but that's probably really going to fill up the hard drive, isn't it, on my asterisk machine? That's annoying. Do I have to buy a new hard drive now? Fucking Adobe. Death to Adobe, everybody. You can answer your call right now. Leave us a message and we'll call you back as soon as we can. Thank you. David? It's your neighbor. It's Bob. Hello? Are you there? Pick up the phone. Hello? David, it's Bob. Carol? Hello? Oh, hello, David. Hello, hello David. Yes. Oh, Thank God you picked up. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was a close one. What's up? Oh, hey, uh, it's your neighbor, Bob. Um, I'm, I'm going to be getting that satellite internet. You know, Starlink? The internet from space? Yeah, you, you got the wrong to David, I think. Oh, no, David and Carol. I, I, well, I'm at your address, at 52 Circle, but I live underneath your house. No, nobody lives underneath in my house. My house is a one-floor house. No, you wouldn't know about me. I live underneath the earth, you know, like in caves and tunnels and stuff. But I'm registered with the county as having your address, so they're putting the satellite dish on your house. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, no, they are. They're coming today to, to install it. I just got a text. Shit. I bet you he has that whole conversation recorded on his answering machine. Okay, I got a call coming in. Wait a minute. I'm not even calling from a real number. So why are they calling me back? This is the number. They're calling me back on the number that I used earlier this week or last week or whenever it was. But I'm not using that number today. Hello? Hello? Who Hello? is this? Hello? Who, who's this? You, you called me. Yeah, I did call you because I've been getting prank calls from this number. Not from this number. Oh, yeah, from that number. It's on my phone. Well, they're... they're no, they're probably spoofing my number. Please don't yell at me, ma'am. I'm going to hang up. Please don't yell at me. I'm not yelling at you. You're kind of yelling at me. I am not kind of yelling at you. This number has been calling my house. This number has not been calling your house. You're, you're, oh, you're... it has been. Listen, ma'am. People can fake their numbers. So I don't know who's calling from my number. You're not the first call I've gotten. But if you're the one harassing me, you need to so leave me alone. Harassing you? Somebody's harassing me. What do they do to you? Well, you know what? I'm going to call the police and give them this number. I hope you do. Go ahead. I'll talk to the police. I've already talked to them. Uh, so you, so somebody's harassing you also? Oh, yeah, yeah, but you don't want to hear that. You just want to yell at me. So fuck you, no, lady. No, 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 ma'am. Fuck you. No. Go ahead. Call the police. I don't care. I didn't say I don't that. care. Yes, you did. You said you're calling the police. Call the police on me. I'm not the one harassing you. I'm not making Please. calls. People are calling me. They need to stop. Right. If you're the one Miss. calling me, you need to cut that out. That is not cool. You know, that's, I'm a single lady here. I'm just trying I, to I, get by with my day, and you're, you're just harassing me with these phone calls. I'm tired of it. But it's not me. <laughs> Could you listen, please? Well, you're the one yelling at me. What are you yelling at me for? I'm I don't not know. yelling at you. I'm trying to talk. You're yelling at me. No, you started Can it. You started yelling at me first. Me? You, you there's, need to... people, there's people harassing my husband's cell phone. I just got four phone calls in like the past 15 minutes. From this number? And no, it wasn't that number. Oh, so there you go. Number. You're a big liar. Um, what the hell? You need to grow up, oh lady. Prank calls are for kids. Oh my Tell me to grow up, lady. Yeah, what 
Yeah. She said somebody's harassing her. I said, well, it ain't me. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that's kind of great. I sure turned that around on her, calling up to yell at me, and I didn't even do anything. I had to start using her number as my callback number. See how she likes it. Maybe she'll believe me then that spoofing is a thing. It's weird, though, because I wasn't getting a lot of callbacks the other day when I was using that number. But now, all of a sudden, someone's going to call me back on it. Hello? Why, why are you just sitting there? That's weird. It's your neighbor. It's Bob. No. What, what, what were you doing? Why, why'd you do that? that? I'm creeped out now. Who is this again? It's Bob. I live over on Drive. Why, why are you just picking up and being all creepy? Got me. Nobody was answering, so... Well, you didn't say anything. Of, uh, you, you didn't say anything. You just picked up and sat there. I said hello. Oh, no, you didn't. You probably... A lot of people do this. They say hello as they're hitting the button. They don't realize. You know, you got to wait a minute. Let the phone pick up and then say hello so they can hear you. Otherwise, you sound like a creep. All right. Anyway, um, I'm going to be installing a satellite dish on your roof. It's a Starlink satellite no, dish. No, thank you. Well, thank no, you. no I, I'm not you. selling you anything, sir. I'm your neighbor. I don't need it. I, thank I, you. It's not for you. It's for me. You don't have to pay for it. I'm just putting it on your roof, and I'm going to set up a relay and... Send, send the signal over here. It's it's for my internet. It's no big deal. Uh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, Thanks. it's too late. I've already ordered it, and they're going to be there uh, tomorrow morning to, to set it up. Not likely. I, I just didn't want it on my roof because it's ugly. It's like a big old pizza box looking thing. Well, why do I want it then? Well, because your house is already ugly. My house is nice. I guess he didn't like that. Nobody's believing my mole man thing. I'm very upset about this. This has just been a terrible day overall. And Dina just picked up and hung up on me. Let me try her right back. Dina, why are you hanging up on me? It's it's Bob. Bob. Yeah. Why you hung up on me? Why'd you hang up on me? I, Bob who? Dobelina. I. I live on the same street as you. You do? Yeah. Why'd you hang up on me? You just hung up. You just picked up and hung up. I, well, because I didn't hear anything. Well, did you say hello? You gotta say hello. I did. And nobody answered till I hung up. <sighs> I went through the same thing with Bill. So you gotta, like, wait a second. You gotta push the button and just pause for a second. Let the phone connect. You know, let the technology c catch up with your brain. And then say hello. And that way I'll hear you. I didn't hear anything. All I heard was your TV. Okay. You gotta wait a second. What? You sound. You, no, I'm saying you gotta wait a second. You gotta push the oh, button. Okay. And okay. count to one, and then say hello. Okay. Okay. I'm putting a satellite dish on your roof. What? What? For my internet. For whose internet? For, what are you talking about? It's for my internet. I live directly below you on the property. Below and, me on what property? On fifteen. Drive. That's actually my address too. I registered it with the county. So uh, I live. I live kind of. It's, you know, caves and tunnels underneath your house, about twenty-five feet below the earth. What are you? <laughs> wow, two people now. She had to like hang up before her brain exploded or something. I think she couldn't handle a, a lesson in phone use and the whole mole man thing at the same time. That was just too much for her. I gave her too much to process all at once. But hopefully she follows my advice. She counts to one, hits the button, counts to one, then says hello. That's just how you got to do it on those crappy old cordless home phones. You have reached. Please leave a message after the beep. And we return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Bob. Hello, are you there? It's Bob. Here on the way. Hello. Howard, Hello. How, Howard. Yeah. Oh, thank God you picked up. I'm, What's I'm, up? I'm putting a satellite dish on your roof. It's for my uh, internet. Who is this? 
Uh, it's Bob Dabalina. I live at your same address. Uh, I live at 14 Drive, but I live underneath the ground. So they said that I can put a satellite dish on your roof. I don't think so. Oh, no, it's already been decided by the county. No, I, I, I filled out the paperwork. Okay. It, it's just for my internet. It's going to connect to the space internet. Howard? Hello? Hey, Barbara? Yes? It's uh, your neighbor. It's Bob. Oh. I, I live here. Oh. Um, I, I'm... Well, I'm actually, uh, I, I live at your same address. I live at 71 Drive 2. Did, did the HOA tell you about me? No. Uh -uh. Okay, I just, I live below the earth, about 25 feet below your house. I'm going to be getting the internet uh, tomorrow, but they have to put the satellite dish on your house. Uh, no, you're, we're not in the same house. No, I'm not in your house. I'm below your house. I'm underneath the ground, like below your yard. Really? Yeah, I live like in a, a cave, <laughs> a tunnel. It's not funny. It's that's where I live. Uh, I'm sorry. This sounds like uh, something weird to me. Yeah. What, what are you calling me about? Well, I know it's not. It's not you know totally conventional lifestyle. This is just how I choose to live. I'm known as a mole man. There's lots of us around the country. But uh, I got to have internet, so they're going to put it on your house. I don't think so. I'm it's, sorry. It's just a little satellite dish, just a little bitty one. I don't. I think that has to go through the association. I have nothing to do with it. Oh no! So I, if I see somebody there, then I will redirect them. Well, I already sorry. talked to the county because I'm I'm reg I'm registered sorry. at your address. I live here too. No, you don't. But, I'm sorry. But Goodbye. It, it's a separate parcel of land with the county. Okay. Nobody wants to agree with me. Hello. Hey, James. Yes. It's Bob, your neighbor. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Um, I'm going to be getting that internet, you know, that Starlink satellite internet. Um, they're going to be... No. Well, yeah, it's it's a new internet service from SpaceX. They're they're going to be putting it on your roof, though? Yeah, no. I, that, no. I don't have you, a roof. Okay, then you, you've got the wrong person because that's not where I live. Well, no, I live at 130... I didn't even tell you where you live. I live yeah, you're that you're that fucked up freak that keeps calling people and and harassing them. I'm not harassing anyone. It's the first time yes, I've called you. Yes, you are. You. You're you're talking stupid shit. I only called you once. I just called you, and and how, you've done it before. We all know who you are, dumbass. Come what, on. What do you mean I've done it before? We've gotten these phone calls from you before. Last time it was oh the Amazon tunnels underneath the underneath the house. Amazon tunnels. Come on. That sounds crazy. Yeah. First of all, my neighbor's name is not Bob. And second of you all, don't know the who your neighbor you gave, is. You don't live at. You, you don't know who your neighbor is. I'm Bob Dobbleen. I, I live, know who my neighbor is. I live are. directly I below your my... house. Ah, you see, that's where you're fucking full of shit because I live in a rancher. You live in a renter? I live in a rancher house. Yes, I do. I do. So you don't live below me at all. Well, I, I live on Drive. You don't live on Drive? I know where drive is and you don't live at that address S settle easy, down Cal calm lives. down calm down settle down you're, you're, no, you're you freaking out before dude you did it to my thank you you did it to my mom once before and i got on the phone i remember because you know i asked you to come outside and said you know you got all pissed off because i was getting hyper and everything because i know you're a fucking psycho are you sure this wasn't king richard this sounds like something king richard would do I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. That's how a fucking psychotic you are. What are you talking Like, seriously, I don't even know how you got my number, but here's the thing. I, I have friends that are in the fucking FBI, and I will have them fucking co contact you. And you will fucking get in so much trouble for harassing people, man. How am I harassing anybody? Kidding. Yes, you are. You're fucking calling me, telling me something stupid about putting an antenna on my roof, which is fucking bullshit, asshole. Sir, Come an, on. an antenna is you totally different from a satellite dish. Dude. You can't, if you legitimately live on drive, you would know that you cannot put anything on the fucking roof. Oh, I can, because I live underneath your house, and I got permission you don't from the live county. Under, you are a fucking psycho, dude. You are a fucking psycho. I am not. Like, Why are you saying yes, that? That's you are. so mean. I would never call you names. Because you're fucking crazy. You don't live under my house. It's a fucking rancher, dumbass. I, I Come on, why do you got to be so fucking stupid like this? I live 25. Why, why do you got to do this? Why 20, are you going to fucking grow up? 25. Why don't you fucking meet me on drive? If you are such a man, why don't you fucking meet me on drive? Well, it's a long walk. You know, I have to walk all the way to the exit tunnel. 
Uh, you, oh you, know, it's a good... you are such. I can. I love it. Come on, let's keep talking. Let's let's see how much more stupid fucking shit can come out of your fucking mouth. Well, this is I all real. I cannot believe you have my number, dude. You are you are so fucking in so much trouble because I, I I'm gonna have this phone call traced and you're gonna get your ass fucking beat. What dude, do you... I, you don't know who to, you don't know who you're fucking messing with. Oh you know, wait. Who, do, who you're fucking? Oh gosh. With. What What do you mean? Who am I messing with? Uh, are you really important? You don't fucking know, man. You You don't fucking know are, are who you, you're messing with. Are you like super important? Like, uh, you know, they, they must no, be wrong. No, but here's guy. the thing. I'm... I will fuck your day up. I will fuck your day oh. up. I will take my fucking gun and I will fucking shoot your fucking head out. Well, that's not nice. Trust me. I, I don't fucking care what's nice. Stop calling people okay, and fucking listen, harassing them. James, you might want to tell your FBI friend that you're uh, threatening people on phone lines, that federal perfect, phone no, lines. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. I will tell lines. them because here's the thing. You're fucking calling me and harassing me about something fucking stupid. Telling me you live underneath my house and you're putting a fucking antenna on there. Dude, you're so full of shit. That's harassment. You're full of shit. You're it's not an antenna. Me. It's a satellite dish. Learn the difference, idiot. It's not. It doesn't matter. You, if, if you had any fucking sense and really lived on f***ing drive, you would know that you can't do any of that. And you don't live under my house because it's a fucking rancher with no nothing underneath of it. Listen, Come on, dude. Idiot. I, I'm, I'm not a member of the HOA there, so I don't have to follow those oh, dumb rules. Oh, here we go. I'm not a member of the HOA. Now you're starting that crap. Dude, you are so fucked well, you're, up. You're the one that said I can't put a satellite dish on the roof because of some stupid rules. I don't, I don't pay the HOA dues. I don't. Have okay, to so then you don't live on. You, then you don't live where you say you live. I live under your house, idiot. Under your <laughs> okay, house. Okay, here we go. Under the house. Let me guess. You live in the Amazon tunnels that you called me about before. Come I've on, never dude. talked to you about dude, Amazon dude, tunnels. Dude, that was dude, King. That was King dude, Richard. You're fucking crazy. That was. Dude, come on, stay on the phone. So I can keep getting a trace. Listen. Keep getting a trace. Come on, stay on the phone. What are you using? To, what I'm, are you I'm, using to trace? I'm staying on the phone. What are you using to trace the call? Uh, uh, dude, I'm because I'm gonna fucking come and I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, no, I, I, I didn't ask why. I said what equipment? Like, what's the brand name and model I'm number of the it's equipment? None of your fucking bi- it's none of your business. Is, is that because none it's imaginary? If you're so fucking smart, Mister Under the Ground Liver. You, then you would fucking know. Is that because you're fucking it's, crazy? Because it's dude, imaginary. Dude, if you ever call my phone again, if you ever, uh, dude, I'm I'm not kidding. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Make sure you record this because I'm going to fucking kill you. Why would I record this? I'm going to kill you. 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 Record it and I'm going to kill you. I'm going to take my gun and fucking shoot your fucking head off. What kind of gun is it? You're fucking psycho. You're psycho. You're fucking psycho. I'm going to fucking kill you. What's the brand and model number of your gun? Dude, shut up. Come on. What? Seriously, like, are you that, like, what? What is your... You have no life. Is your gun... You seriously have no life. You have no life. Is your gun imaginary, too? You have no fucking life. You have no life except to harass people that live in a fucking retirement community, because that's how fucking crazy you are. You're literally a fucking psycho. Your mother should have fucking aborted you because you're a fucking psycho. Wow. Your father's sperm was <laughs> fucking awake <laughs> because are, you're fucking crazy. These are all things that a psycho would say. I think you're projecting. No, a psycho is a person who calls people and harasses them well, no, with I think stupid a, shit. Psycho is a person that threatens to kill people with guns and sings, I'm going to kill no, you on no, the right, phone. No, I would I'm never do reacting, that. I'm reacting on someone who fucking harasses elderly people in a fucking community. That's what I'm doing. I'm reacting on it because you fucking call elderly people. Dude, it's, it goes How all through know? our, co- our look, entire HOA. Look, Everybody gets phone calls from you. Everything's, we all know it. Everything is relative. Know. We've talked about I, it. I'm we elderly, too. We all know about it. Look, everything's relative. I'm elderly, too. So it, it's not like they're no, elderly. They're, they're, my the they're my peers. They're my peers. Shut the fuck up. I'm so old, sir. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, okay. How, how yeah, many... but, yeah, but you're so you're not you're so much of a pussy. You won't meet me outside. I, I told you I would. Right? It's just a long walk. I got to go to the exit you're tunnel. You're a pussy. That's why you're a fucking psychotic pussy. If you're a man, fucking meet me outside, you pussy. Okay, uh, it'll meet be a outside. while. What what time? Should no, I... it won't. Get the fuck out of here. No, I gotta get the fuck out of here. You don't understand. The tunnel's kind of far away from your property, uh, even though uh-huh. I, I'm directly yeah. below uh-huh. your house. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that tunnel. I'm, oh, I know all about that tunnel. I've been in it, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. I've, I've I got have a, a room down there. I've got to drive the Amazon truck over and open the door. Uh, okay, I'm sure, yep, you do. Yep, drive that Amazon through the, through the tunnel. Well, yep. That was King Richard. I'm sure that wasn't me. That's a King Richard joke all the way. I'm positive. Why do you have nothing else to do, man? Seriously. Well, you're the one Why not hanging you up. 
Like, just hang up the phone. Because I'm fucking tired of you fucking calling old people and harassing them. Like, dude, it's really, it's enough. I'm it's an enough. Person, you need though. to get a fucking life. It's okay. I'm you old. You need to get a life. I'm old too. You need to get a. These you are, need to get a life. These are my peeps. You're still. It doesn't matter how old you are. You're still harassing elderly people. You're the one bringing up. Shit. You're the one bringing up age. But it doesn't matter. You're still harassing people because you're fucking psycho and you're a pussy. You're a fucking pussy. I'm telling you, man. Have you completed you, the trace yet? <laughs> Dude, I'm not. Oh, let me let me give you my pers- my information. Yeah, let me give you that information. Oh no, that's cool. I have it. But what's the tracer model oh, okay. number and 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 everything? Oh, let like, me tell you. Of... Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're so smart. You know everything because you're putting. You live in a fucking tunnel underneath. Well, I, the fucking I didn't say I know everything. I, I was just curious what tracing equipment you've got hooked up over there. It's really interesting. I, I'm a kind of a telecommunications. Um, again, nut. it doesn't matter. You don't know who I am, where I work, what I do for for a living, who I know. You know none of that. So it doesn't matter. Okay. So I didn't say I did. Why are you Why are you thinking I? Think, well, why are you, you asking me what, what? Why are you asking me what equipment I'm using then? Because you brought it up. You said you're tracing the call. I was just wondering. Okay. I'm curious. Well, don't ask. Don't ask. I'm a t- you don't need to know what I'm doing. I'm a phone I'm hobbyist. I'm just telling you. I was just wondering. You you brought it up. Like, excuse me for asking follow up questions. You obviously you have no life that you need to fucking do this shit. Yeah. That's the only way people will talk. to and you. And I'm a pussy. Don't forget that part. I'm a pussy. Yes. Yes. I no. I'm not going to forget it because you are a pussy. Okay. And you won't and, come outside and meet me. And you're going to kill me. You're, and you're going to trace the call. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With your gun. Yep. You got it. With your gun that yep. you don't even know the brand and model number of. I know what the fucking brand and model number is. I'm not telling you. It's, it's weird none that of your you business. can't tell me any of this stuff. It's almost it's as if you're weird. making it's it up. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Okay. All right. It's none of your fucking business. That's okay. why you're not being All right. told. All right. Okay. So why Sorry. You, what? So I mean, you, again, you brought it up, you, though. Like, if it's not my business, don't tell uh, me about right, it. You're right. I did bring it up. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I did bring it up because I'm trying to just fucking talk to you because you're a fucking psycho. So I'm just going to talk all kinds of shit just like you talk all kinds of shit. I, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do the same thing you do. But the thing is, I'm you're just going to keep talking and keep not, talking you're not and very, keep talking. You're not very good talking. at it. You're not very good at it is the problem. It doesn't matter what I'm good or not because I don't fucking harass people on the phone about stupid shit. Well, I'm not harassing anybody. This is just one phone call. You can hang up whenever you want. I and you, but you called me. But you've called me twice. You've called twice. You called once before. You called my mother's house. Yeah, but you don't. And I got on the phone. You don't seem to believe me. That so was that was King Richard. King Richard did that. Uh, okay, that was King Richard. Yep, yep. Okay, and the queen's my fucking aunt. Yep, you got it. No, no, she's not. She's she's younger no, than you. No, uh, yeah, because that, you're still Olga. a pussy that won't. You're still a pussy who won't meet me out outside. That's it's the thing. true. It's that, true. You're a pussy, and I know it is, dude. You don't have to tell me. You have nothing else to do. You have nothing else to do. Nothing else to do. I'm glad we're working through our problems, though. Yes, yes, me too. Yep, mm-hmm, yep. You got it. Anything else you want to tell me? Any other stupid shit you want to bring up and tell Whoa. me that you're going to do? Well, I mean, just like don't don't threaten to shoot the satellite installation man when he shows up tomorrow. Oh, okay, yeah, uh huh, right, mm, yep. Mm, and don't right, call yeah. an antenna; okay. he'll probably that'll probably set him off. Uh, okay, all right, I'll make sure. Yeah, I'll you, make you gotta sure that, learn that, the difference. Uh, antennas are long and skinny. Uh huh. Satellite dishes are sure, more, uh, uh, you know, help, more. Hey, why don't I go up? Why don't I help him put it up? Why don't I help him put it up? Uh, no, you're not qualified to do that. You have to be, uh, you know. No, but but here's the thing. But it's my house, so I, if I want to go on the roof and. Maybe break it. I could. Oh no, it's and my dish. Happen. No, you you leave that no, dish alone. But, but, That's mine. Yeah, but see here, Don't but the house it. is mine. But the house is mine. Yeah, but so is it, it really it, yours? It, it, Do we really own anything in this life? Well, yes and no. I mean, yeah, we own some things, but other things we don't. You're right. But um, yeah, I, I mean, it's I'm on my right. it's on my house that's deeded in my name. So if I want to break it, I can. That's the thing. Well, you said you don't and even live can, there. And no, here and nobody can do anything because here's the thing: you're underground. Nobody knows where you are. Oh, no, so I, I'm registered with anything. the county. I, I've got paperwork. I, I have your address uh, on my taxes. Oh, okay. All right, that's right. I forgot about it. They did tell us that, that you, you are allowed to live under the ground in the tunnels and do whatever you want to do and use explosives to blow up tunnels to make more Amazon room for whatever the fuck you do. Explosives? I, I never said anything about explosives. That is totally King Richard. Dude. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Yep. I'm okay. sure of it. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I got a, I got a cake in the oven. I, I love you. Okay. Yep. Great. I, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you got so upset and everything. You, you s- oh, settle down. I just, just uh, go, go take a, no. go take a pill. So one, one of these days, 
one of these days you'll fucking meet me and be a man, but apparently that'll never happen because you're obviously not a man. Well, you just contradicted yourself yeah. then. It, it, it will happen, but it won't happen. That sounds like the, the reasoning of a psychopath. No, it sounds like me saying that um, you should meet me, but you won't because you're, you're, you're a... Put- well, I am a psychopath, so you, you called the wrong person. Uh, you you oh, psychopath this, this called again. this psychopath. Crap. Yeah, so... What do I do? Yep. What do you do? All you right. just wait for me to fucking put my gun into your throat and kill you. Wow. Yeah, call, wow. You can't you're wait calling to, me the psychopath. I Holy see, shit. I can't wait to see your fucking brain splatter all over the place. You know what? I've, I've, awesome. I've never said that to anyone before. I don't really care what you said. Well, I said it to you. Because yeah, I think it'd be cool. Because you're a psychopath. I am, yep, just like you. Oh, God, the cake's burning. I gotta go. Did you trace okay, the call? You I, I want you to trace the call. Did they get the call traced? I, don't worry about what I've done. That's none of, nothing that you need to worry about. Okay, well, I just wasn't sure what Brandon model... That's why I was asking, so I'd know how long to stay on the phone with you. Because if you're using one of the older uh, models, it takes a little bit longer for the dot to get across the uh, screen. Uh, okay. Like in the movies. I'm glad I'm... I'm glad you know all that stuff. Yeah, I'm a hobbyist. Tele- telecommunications <laughs> okay. hobbyist. Yep, good. All right, I love you. Can you say it back, please? Mm-hmm. No, I can't. Why not? Come on, I, I do because love I don't you. fucking love you. Even though you've been well, I don't really yelling care. at me, I love you. I, think you're I a, don't really fucking care. I think at heart, you're a good person, and I love you. Oh, okay, whatever. And it, you know what? If you tried to shoot me, I would just kiss you on the lips, and you would see the light, and we'd be friends. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe you'll suck my dick, too. Oh, no, I'm not gay. I would just kiss you on the lips. Okay, whatever. Don't be a we- Don't make this weird. Come on. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's not weird at all already. I didn't think so. Anyway, uh, cake in the oven. My phone doesn't reach that far. I, I got one of the short coily cords hooked up on my landline down here underneath your house. I got to go. All right, you take care of that. I'll make sure I break that dish when it's put up. Don't do it. I will. I love you. I love you too, baby. Oh my god, I love you. I want to fuck your ass so hard. I'm not gay, sir. I just, I'd love you though. Doesn't matter. I, still, I just want to fuck you. You know what? You're so fucking awesome. Pl- I platonic fuck love you. can't exist between two men. Yep. Just want to fuck you. That's all I want to do. I learned that from Wayne's World. Okay, bye. All right. You have a great night, dude. Mwah. Go call the next next neighbor. No, no. I think this is. I'm wrapping it up. That was a good one. Thank you so much. Uh, oh no, you're welcome. It's Anytime. Time, it's time to do voicemails now. Okay, you do that. Voicemail time, everybody. Yep, go for it. Should I just play the voicemails with you on? Sure, go ahead. No. All right, I love you, bye. Hey, Brad, this is uh, Cody from Texas. Hey. Uh, Man, I had to actually, I'm catching up on your shows, and I had to pause the show I'm on now to just call in and tell you. That guy that said, go take a shit. Oh, my God. I don't know why, but very rarely do I laugh out loud at things, and that had me just... That was a great insult. That was so great. Who the hell says that? He got me. Um, Also, your HOA calls of pitting people against each other, saying you're having a secret meeting. Man, you need to do that more because that one was so perfect. Uh, Again, bravo. Uh, But yeah, man, just keep doing it. It's so great. Uh, I was was losing my shit. Um, All right, take it easy, man. All right, go on pause. Finish the show. Speaking of HOAs, I just talked to King Richard. And he's confirmed for me that he did call that same HOA list last year. He said he spread it out over several months. Unlike me that just went through the whole thing in a week. But he said I was right. That actually was his call. The underground Amazon tunnels thing, which I don't remember. I know there's a couple episodes of King Richards that I've missed. Or I mean that I have not listened to yet. There's a few in my queue. So mystery solved. That's why everyone's been so suspicious of me this last week. It's all King Richard's fault from another prank call show.com. I think all of you should go over to his show and try to find the Amazon one. He says it's from last year. Go find that guy for me. Or maybe he didn't even keep that guy in. Maybe he wasn't interesting before. He sure was interesting this time. He really told us a lot about himself. All these really bizarre, violent tendencies of his. I kind of feel like I should call up his wife, make sure she's okay. Ask her to signal me if she's in danger. Hey, Brad. Butthole Inker 34. Hey. Hey, next time you walk by, can you can you maybe not wink your butthole at me? All right. Anyway, just wanted to say I love your show and keep doing the swap shop calls where Carol calls and confuses the hell out of people. Yeah. And also, you know, somebody told me they're like Carol should really be driving down those prices, and I thought the same thing when I was doing my editing later that night. 
because she talked that guy down from $6,000 to $5,000. I should have had Carol tell me, you know what, just take it for $4,000. That would have set that guy off. Oh, please keep doing the I love you thing at the should end of every call. It is fucking hilarious. Okay. Uh, keep up the good work. Love you. Bye. You know, pretty much every prank call show does the I love you thing. I don't think I even came up with that. I think everyone just kind of does it. I hear it a ton on the Wasted Memory and Dragon Mirror shows. Fucking baloney tits. All right, baloney tits. Hey, Brad, this is I don't regret not jumping, not I regret jumping from hey. Maryland. I'm just calling to let you know that I think I'm I regret jumping has a decent phone. So I wouldn't confuse the two of you. A trip to Phoenix, even though you're sharing the same name, basically. probably too far away from Roy, New Mexico. Stealing his name. And I was wondering if I could stay with you for a couple of days. Okay. Just uh, let me know on the voicemail segment. And, yeah, uh, come right over. You know, we can go watch some Xboxes and, uh, and uh, you know, I can, I can crash on your couch. Yeah, Thanks. that's Bye. what we'll do. Just meet me under the big water tower. BFC, motherfucker. That damn episode 690 intro, I'm only two minutes into it. That's BFC. Damn it, that's awesome st- shit. I hope this episode is awesome. But that that intro is, is golden, man. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks so much. What the fuck did I do in the intro? You mean the song that I used? What song did I use? What's this guy talking about? This was two days ago. I can't remember this. Might even be three days ago. You're listening to... Is that what he's talking about? Maybe he's talking about my intro where I had that lady on with me and she was helping me do the intro. She was pretty great, but that Shifty Pop song is kind of awesome too. Hey, Brad, this is Ohio Guy calling. Hey, I just had an idea inspired by one of your uh, pranks from the Bible show. Yay, ideas. You had a guy that you were joking uh, around with him that he kept getting faxes uh, onto his cell phone and then you were also talking about the Bible. At the same time, that a bunch of people made fun of me for that. They're like, what the hell, Brad? You, you can't tell the difference between a microwave and a fax tone. You're losing your touch. Great idea. You're getting Just old. Call up businesses and tell them they might need to get some extra paper ready because you're faxing them the entire Bible. Okay. Um, you can make up the That's reason. That's a great idea. I'm going to do that in the next show for sure. I'm going to fax people the Bible. Hey, Brad, it's Nick the Dick from Canada calling. I was the one who asked you to play Carol on the air uh, on the phone. And she t- still sounds totally stupid. Oh, but yeah. hey, you're not stupid. <laughs> I agree. Carol is one of the greatest developments of the Snowplow show. And, uh, Thanks. And I think we're all very happy for it. But uh, I thank the listeners who've been supporting the show forever. They motivated me to buy a Roland VT3 voice machine thing, which turns my voice into Carol, and it's been a lot of fun. I love this thing. Yeah, you're just pretty sensitive and think I was calling you stupid. So no, I'm whatever. just, I'm kidding. Everybody takes the voicemails seriously. I'm just kidding. Whatever I say in the voicemails, I'm just being a dick. That's all. Hey there, this is uh, Roy. Um, hey. calling from uh, New Mexico. Hey. Or uh, Michigan or someplace around there. Yeah. Um, I was listening to some older episodes and uh, the, I think the most, the funniest ones are the ones where, uh, where you call late at night. Just for stupid shit. Yeah, they hate that. I think those are the funniest out of all your uh, shows. Okay. So hopefully uh, we'll get to hear something like that uh, coming up soon. I need to do some Sometimes. of those. Some Maybe what are you dreaming about the, calls? You know what I'm talking about, like where you would call and uh, yeah, I know. tell them you saw an ad or heard an ad on the radio. I know. All right, thanks. Roy, the eat fuck. How do I submit fuck you. shit to you? You How eat do- fuck, motherfucker. How do I send you phone numbers and shit? Let me know. I don't want you to Later. send me shit. If anyone wants to send me phone numbers, though, there's a form over on snowplowshow.com. That's where you should go. Go to snowplowshow.com. It's in the top menu bar. There's a thing called submit a prank or submit a number, something like that. Hey, Brad. It's Dozer. Hey. Uh, listen, I was driving through uh, Royal New Mexico today. I was on Cactus Avenue, and a box of fuck books fell out of the back of my truck. Fuck books? So if anybody finds them, uh, give me a call. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thank you, okay, thanks. Cactus. Thanks, Dozer. I hope you find those fuck books. All right. Yeah. Brett the Monkey Boy here. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff to talk about, but I just want hey. to throw out a... Well, I want to design a PLA shirt that's just basically mumble-jumble words associated with Snowplow. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, you have names like Carol and all those that. Like a word cloud, right? That's what it's called, a word cloud. I tried to make one of those once. I found an app on my phone that would make them. 
But then I wanted to make it in the shape of a phone or a PLA bell or something, and it couldn't do that. So I'm just like, fuck this shit. And then you would have. I'm like, not gonna do a heart. That's stupid. Take off. Off. Don't say a you heart. Hang up the phone or different oh, phrases yeah. just associated with the show. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and design that and send it to you. And, uh, you know, let me know if you like and want to put it up. You know, in your okay. store or whatnot. All right. Uh, I'll do we're that. still at the beginning. Uh, base. Of designing this. So anyway, All right, hurry the let fuck me know up. what you think of that. Also, uh, Scooby Doo Beep Bop to Christopher Bees. Listen to a little old Slim Shady right now. As always, Root back down, Root Breck away. Okay, thanks, Root Breck. That was weird. Put down Christopher Reeves' legs, okay? It's not cool. He's Brad, dead. It's me, Aaron. Hey, I haven't Aaron. called in a while because I've been um, busy. I'm just here sitting around. I moved to Detroit. That's been going on. Nice. Um, I think That's somebody great. got shot outside my building the other day, but I don't know. I got a new yeah. cat. Um, All right. So what have you been up to? Okay, bye, Aaron. Thanks for the voicemail. Uh -huh. I'm glad you called in. Hey, hey, Roy. <laughs> How I'm going to leave that in there because I was explaining that in the last show where people always get confused on the beginning, and it's my fault. It's because of my misleading voicemail message that he did that. It's not his fault. You? Don't make fun of him. I'm good, thanks. Uh, I just wanted to congratulate you. I noticed that you made your one millionth prank call, and uh, I just wanted to extend big deal. my congratulations to you and hoping that you're doing well. So, thanks. thanks. Yeah, the mayor came out and shook my hand and everything. It was great. Hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. This is Mystery Person. See? I just want to say, See? I don't know how much of a fan you are of the idea of calling people in an HOA and um, giving them a that your name of somebody else that really exists there. I, I love the fact that you drove him crazy when you called that woman and you said there was a meeting about her. Oh, this, yeah. I lost my shit. That was amazing. You could do A that. lot of people gave me shit for that because she sounded so concerned about it. They're like, that was mean. That was an innocent old lady. Uh, and I think at one point you also had a call where you said... You know what? As I always say, she was concerned at first, but in the end, it brought them all closer together. She got to talk to all of her neighbors about the crazy psychopath that always calls in and talks about underground Amazon tunnels and stuff. Um, you're with that person. It wasn't and even me. And all the stories about that person. I think that's just amazing. Yeah. I think there's a lot to be done there about. That was a request, by the way, because I did that a long time ago. And I don't remember who, but it was somebody recently. They said, hey, you need to do these calls again. And I'd forgotten about them. But I guess it'll be a while since I threw away the HOA list today. People against each other. The three-way call was in incredible as well. So anyway, Thanks. do it more. I love it. Yes, I think sir. it's brilliant. I and will. thank I you promise. so much for keeping All right. Goodbye. me. Goodbye. I'm just. I, oh, shit. I can't. Whoa. What happened? I think you got in a car wreck. Rest in peace, sir. Your very last words were very honorable. Hey, Brad. It's Haley's Comet from Distorted View. Hey. And I. I I must have Wait missed a the episode. You or don't do distorted view. That's Tim on one of your podcasts. I'm not listening to it You're yet. You're big phony. Tim Henson of the Distorted View podcast is getting a bunch of voicemail messages now, where people are asking him if he packs his lunch and walks to work. And some of these guys leaving these messages, they sound like they're they're masturbating while having some sort of epileptic fit. It's really disturbing. Weird. Uh, so. What have you done? And I really want to know where it I don't is. Think so it's I can me. listen to it. Bye. I mean, he probably blamed it on me, but it's been quite a while since I've used Tim's number to make prank calls with. So I think this time it was not me. It was somebody else. And I know his voicemails are behind. I know there's a few month delay, but for real, I don't think it was me this time. Um, hi, Brad. Um, it's Ryan from a folk, uh, from a folk Connecticut, a fifth time uh, caller. Hey. Um, I called I'm keeping before. track. And he said, uh, "That's well, great." Uh, well, something about uh, that should um, a problem with the FBI. Are you able to tell us uh, for more um, information? Oh, the whole um, story was in today's intro song. Didn't you hear, Mister? Want to know my name? Saying all about Here, it yes. in the intro song. Okay, um, and also for calling to say hi. I uh, trying to stay under. I uh, pulled the. I uh, uh, pulled that thirty seconds. Hey, and Ryan. also um, a ten dollar uh, Patreon. Um, folk, um, oh, well, the $10, uh, oh, the Patreon, uh, come on. Okay, fine. So yeah, like, back in 2016, I did a show, somebody sent me a login to a computer system owned by Safeway, or like a third-party system, 
used by Safeway and Albertsons and all that stuff. And I did a couple of really hilarious shows with them. I pretended to be Safeway managers and Albertsons managers, and it was kind of awesome. But then maybe six months later, the FBI showed up at my house and they're like, hey, you're a hacker. You've been logging into this computer system owned by Safeway. Me and my giant team of agents are going to come in your house and take all of your computer shit down to headquarters and analyze it all. And they did. I was questioned and released. They did not arrest me that day. I pled guilty. I had to pay a huge fine, like $19,000. Had a bunch of legal fees and stuff. Really, I should have just fought it. I didn't know I'd have to pay that much in legal fees and fines and stuff. What was I thinking? But I guess it probably came out to the same amount either way. Whatever. I don't care. So currently, I'm on probation. I got five years of probation, and I didn't have to go to jail. That was kind of nice. So for the past few years, I've been jumping through all the hoops, doing all the things I'm supposed to do, and in another year and a half, I guess, the whole thing will hopefully be over. Hey, Brad. It's Joe DeVita calling. Uh, just listening to the show, and I wanted to add into hey, uh, Mike Rokorgi slash Apollo's pro audio tip Ugh, about compression. That guy. Um, compression is going to cap your volume at a certain point as well as pull the soft sounds up and make them louder. It compresses your dynamic range. I have noticed that on the phone call side of things, their levels stay kind of even on the recording, a lot more than mine. I think just based on where I've got the gain and the compression and all that, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here. I just do my best. So if you are concerned about keeping things from getting too loud, you want to use a limiter, which is just capping the top of the volume. I know they definitely have one in Adobe Audition that you can throw on in post-production. Oh, shit. So there you go. Just a little little extra information for you. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know I could do that with Adobe. That'd be kind of nice. Because I am constantly editing out noises that I'm making in the background while I'm talking to people. I'm always playing with garbage on my desk and making gross, disgusting mouth noises. What I'd really like is like a hardware limiter that works, you know, before it even comes into the recording. Have you got any recommendations on a hardware limiter? I've looked at those before. They all seem really expensive and I don't think I'd pay for those. I bought one a long time ago, maybe, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. And I think I just couldn't figure out how to make it work right. Thanks for the advice, Joe and Micro Corgi and anyone else that wants to give it. By the way, speaking of technical audio garbage, I recorded half of today's show with Mixcraft. I don't know why I just didn't do that before. I'll just record it in Mixcraft and then do all my editing in Adobe Audition when everything is safely saved because it's pretty much just as easy to do it that way. Why don't I just do it that way? So that's what I did. I think that's what I'm gonna try doing for a while and see if I like doing it that way just to avoid paying that $21 a month. Because fuck Adobe if they can't just sell me a piece of software instead of making me pay for it forever. Stupid Adobe. Thank you everybody for listening. This show has been brought to you by a high school graduate, Matt S., The Stunning Kruger Effect, Denmark is a Real Country, and Carbo B. If you want to support the show, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. And it's only $5 a month to get the extra show every week, known as the Hobo Sode, which hasn't happened yet this week, but hopefully will soon. I'd like to live beneath the dirt 